So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and today I'm coming at you guys again with another character build cross between an armor set. I did a video similar to this around 5 or 6 days ago uh, which was the nearly invincible on survival mode difficulty character build. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that one yet I will leave a link down in the description down below and you guys seem to really enjoy that so I'm coming at you guys again today with another insane build this time it's based around sort of like an infiltrator a sniper and sneak character build that is truly truly insane just to put into perspective i literally spawn in 10 legendary death claws on survival mode difficulty and i managed to take them all out before they take me out literally at point blank range and using this specific character build and armor set combined you could pretty much go into any area in the game and clear out the enemies with absolute ease on any difficulty and kind of how this build works is a mixture of using vats uh, using sneak and using the chameleon armor that essentially makes it so that if you get detected by an enemy you can literally crouch down right in front of them literally if you're detected by them you just crouch down and they won't know what's going on on desk when it's like you've just vanished they're on caution they're walking around they don't know what's going on you can literally start shooting them in the face right in front of them when you're crouched and they still won't know what's going on. You're literally shooting them point blank and they're still looking around, you know, thinking what the hell is happening to me. It's very crazy, very, very insane way to play. And I had a lot of fun playing this way as well. It's a lot of fun to kind of infiltrate places and just kind of play with the enemies and uh, just absolutely destroy them with this character build. So as always with these, I'm going to start off with the armor set first. And we're always going to start off here with Ballistic Weave. For those of you who don't know um, what Ballistic Weave is, it's essentially... Kind of like an armor mod that becomes available after completing a certain railroad quest line. If you want to know exactly how to unlock this, I will leave a video linked down in the description down below. And what it does is it basically allows you to put armor ratings onto normal clothes that go underneath your armor. So for instance, uh, I'm going to go ahead and apply this ballistic weave to my dirty army fatigues, which has zero armor rating. When I apply the highest ballistic weave possible, it basically gives me 110 damage resistance and 110 energy resistance on just the dirty army fatigues, turning them into the armored dirty army fatigues. And you can do the same as well uh, with certain hats in the game. The newsboy cap is the one I'm going to be using in the video again. Once again, it goes from zero up to 110 damage resistance and energy resistance. And starting off with the ballistic weave just then and there, we already have 220 damage resistance and 220 energy resistance, give or take your character build as well. Um, you know, depending on what you've actually chosen in terms of perks. Now, with that aside, you can actually put armor on top of this. Once again, increasing your armor rating even more, bulking it up to one above the 300 mark, which is definitely a good range to have just generally uh, in terms of armor rating. But the armor we're going to be wearing on top of this is a specific armor set. And of course, this is the Chameleon Armor. You guys may know something very similar to this uh, from Fallout 3 with the Chinese style suit. Uh, but essentially, when you put a piece of this on and you crouch, you'll practically become invisible. And basically, the description for the prefix is uh, you're much harder to detect when crouched uh, rather than standing up. And the good thing about this is that each piece of armor that you wear uh, with the Chameleon legendary prefix on will stack on top of each other. So the more you wear, uh, the more, of course, undetectable you're going to be. And with a full of five pieces of Chameleon armor, you know, it is a little bit hard to get. Um, but if you do manage to get five pieces of it, you're practically undetectable when you crouch, which is just absolutely crazy by itself. I mean, character build aside and going into the perk system aside, this alone is absolutely crazy and definitely comes in handy in a lot of situations uh, within Fallout 4. But we're not done just there. Of course, this mixed in with specific perks and specific weapons can truly make for a crazy, crazy character build. So now let's move into the perks and there's some of the specific perks that I think definitely work well uh, with this armor. Of course, starting this off, you're gonna wanna invest in the rifleman pack, number one. You know, you're gonna be going around with snipers and, you know, not automatic rifles is typically what I prefer to use when using this character build. Uh, so investing heavily into that rifleman pack, getting it maxed out, getting that double damage uh, with non-automatic weapons uh, is definitely kind of like one of the starting points that you will want to go for uh, in terms of perks. 
Some other important perks while using this specific build. Uh, one of these, of course, is Sneak Rank 5, which basically makes it so that you are now 50% harder to detect uh, while sneaking and also engaging in stealth uh, causes distant enemies to lose you as well. Uh, definitely very important, you know, considering you are on a very kind of sneaky based character build. Uh, to complement this, we have Ninja Rank 3. Basically, your ranged sneak attacks uh, will now do 3.5 times normal damage and your melee sneak attacks uh, will now do 10 times normal damage. This is a very important perk, you know, that sneak attack damage, you know, being 3.5 times more is a very substantial amount that is very very handy when sneaking around and being able to pull off that sneak attack damage as well and what also goes good with this one uh, is the mr sandman rank three and what this does is it essentially makes it so that your silenced weapons do 50 percent more sneak attack damage uh, of course that obviously goes on top of what you already have coming from the ninja rank which basically bumps it up from 3.5 to four times normal damage uh, when pulling off the sneak damage modifier so definitely booking that up is great you can do a lot of damage with this in certain situations especially paired up with that chameleon armor and that's all you will really need in terms of the sneak aspect of this build. Once again, uh, we'll go into the VAT side of it and everything outside of it here shortly. But if you're just looking for the whole sneak aspect compared up with the chameleon armor, uh, once again, the effect you see by the gameplay in the background where the enemies can't see me, I'm shooting them in the face and they can't do anything or they can't see me and stuff. That's how you get that effect in game, just by using those three perks. Of course, the two ones there being Ninja and Mr. Sandman for the damage aspect of it. And the sneak, of course, to make you more undetectable compared up or not compared up, sorry. Uh, of course, paired up with the Chameleon Armor there really does give off that awesome undetectable effect there. And it's a very give or take perk build. I mean, you can just take certain parts of this perk build that I'm talking about and just kind of build it into your own character build as well and go for other things as well and kind of pair some things up together to your own kind of liking but getting back into the perk system here some of the generic ones that you may want to go for of course uh, toughness rank 5 getting that plus 50% damage resistance uh, is always good for your character in general action boy is another good one as well of course your action points regenerate 50% faster with this definitely a very handy perk that complements this specific build very well armor of rank 4 as well as gun nut rank 4 or also good perks to invest in very early on uh, armor of there of course to actually get the best out of your armor possible especially for that ballistic weave as well you do need to have armor rank 4 uh, to get ballistic weave to the best that you can get it at uh, in terms of damage resistance and energy resistance and of course gun up there uh, just to get the best modifications for your weapons possible as early as you can and now moving into the whole VAT side of thing this is once again something that's completely optional it's just something that I think complements this whole build very very well uh, starting off we have a sniper rank 3 uh, which basically means that you have improved control and can hold your breath for longer when aiming you also have non-automatic scope rifles that gain a plus 25 percent accuracy to headshots uh, in vat and also has a chance of knocking down your target which is also very good i mean you can see a lot of that happening in the gameplay that when i'm using vats and stuff it does knock the enemy straight down to the ground for me to actually eventually finish off uh, so definitely a good perk to invest in there concentrated fire rank three as well is also another good one uh, we're essentially in vats every attack on the same body part gains plus 20 percent accuracy and plus 20 percent more damage if you are going for a vats build this is definitely one of the essential perks that you will want to go for as well Better criticals rank 3, your criticals now do 2.5 times as much extra damage. Of course, increasing your damage there is definitely something that you're going to want to do as well. Uh, to complement the better criticals rank 3, we have critical banker rank 3, uh, which you can now save up to 3 critical hits to be actually, you know, used whenever you want in VATS. Definitely a very good VATS perk as well. Uh, and also as well, when you bank a critical hit, you also have a chance of banking an additional one for absolutely free, uh, which is also good for that as well. And then we have four leaf clover, which basically makes it so that each hit in vats now has an excellent chance of filling your critical meter once again focusing on the critical side of vats there in terms of a perk build and that's really the main kind of side of it for me this is kind of the main thing that i went for in terms of a character build here and uh, it's really how i managed to get the effects that you guys are seeing by the gameplay in the background the whole sneak aspect and being undetectable paired up with the whole fat system and are uh, really investing heavily into fats and critical hits and stuff 
really does kind of complement each other and it really does make for a very 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 powerful character build paired up with the chameleon armor there and in terms of kind of general weapons to use with this i would say things like the overseas guardian unique weapon which for those of you who don't know how to get that i will leave a link down in the description down below and uh, there is the weapon that you're mostly seeing in the gameplay in the background if you modify that uh, to more of a sniper type weapon you know you put a long barrel on it you put of course the silencer on it put a scope on it uh, of course from there as well you change the ammo type to 0.308 uh, to maximize the damage there the overseas guardian is one of the best choices you can have for this character build not only is it great at long range it's also great at medium range and short range and of course it has that beautiful two shot legendary prefix which is one of the best legendary prefixes that you can have in, in on any weapon really i mean it shoots out two bullets for the price of one which is absolutely crazy meaning that of course you're going to get a lot more damage out of it when using this weapon so definitely the first choice is the overseer's guardian another choice is any two shot variant of a sniper rifle that you can get your hands on uh, which is quite a lot more difficult to get than the overseer's guardian so you know overseer's guardian is always the best choice in that situation but uh you know a two shot sniper rifle if you fully modify it making sure that it you know it shoots out 0.50 ammo uh, but the best scope on it that you can you know with the best modifications uh, that is also a very very good choice as well and also for close range combat with this build you can also use the deliverer pistol which is another unique weapon found in game once again a link down in the description down below uh, to a tutorial on how to get this but i don't have gameplay of it but the deliverer pistol is a very very good silence pistol that you can use uh, for close range with this build and as always to get legendary armor and weapons uh, for the chameleon armor to get that kind of armor you will need to kill legendary enemies to you know to get it and i've also covered a bunch of legendary farming methods on the channel so if you want to try and farm for chameleon armor or farm for like a two-shot variant of a sniper rifle check the links down below as well on how you can do that and i try and get this as quick as you can uh, for any of your character builds out there and that my friends is pretty much it for the video you know i just wanted to kind of showcase a very flexible build that you guys can go with uh, as always with these type of videos i'm trying to make them as flexible as possible so you can take parts of it uh, see how well they do with you know maybe your character build kind of show off some things that combine well with them just to give you guys as much flexibility with this uh, to hopefully invest in your character build to bulk it up as much as you can and in my opinion this is definitely up there with the top tier character builds to use on things like survival difficulty because you know with this character build it makes the survival difficulty in the game right now literally a breeze i mean any enemy that you come across you can take out pretty easily uh, when using this specific character build so as always if you do enjoy character build videos similar to this one and the other one i did the other day on the channel uh be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel subscribe if you guys are new around for more videos similar to this and i'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.